just when I thought Azaz was done popping off, what does he do? Threat to Noruba saying, I'll cut your head off. He said, I'll lop your head off, but I think cut sounds cooler. He wants to be Iruma's halberd. His ambitions has been solidified. Now, the Legend Leaf should bloom this episode. Everybody points are, I think, locked in. Let's see who's going to win. So what do we do now? Just put the seed and the Voss together, and then it says... What does it do? Oh, wow. But now what? I forget the exact magic spell name. What was it? Quan Quan. Do it. Now. <laughs> put your ring into that max output mode and go Quan Quan. Come on. Yeah, Lead's gonna do it? O okay. Alright, no disrespect to Lead, but I thought, you know. Maybe I thought Iruma would do it because he's the main character. Is it enough? It's probably not gonna be enough, and it needs like Iruma's extra power stored in the ring. Then again, it's technically Sully's power. Uh, uh, shit, good try though. No, 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 maybe you're right, but it's just not enough magic. <laughs> maybe not, but maybe, what if it starts blooming now? No fucking way! <laughs> no, really? All you have to do is water it? Thank you. Now you do Quan Quan. Go. Double Quan Quan. Here we go. Oh, come on. Go. Oh, oh. It's gonna go back in a. Bro, stop teasing us. Okay, come on. <laughs> huh? Another thing we're missing more Quan Quan, more water. Blood sacrifice. He'll disappear? Disappear? He's also not in, you know, his usual form. Hmm. Who's nearby that we could borrow from? Maybe. If it's part of the misfits. Or. Is that Clara? <laughs> Clara, why are you glowing like that? She's got so much mana. Because she's been stealing it all from everybody. So it really just stores in her. I. I should have realized, because I knew that she just drains the mana, but also, you know, she gets to stockpile it. That's insane! Boom! Oh, he's back. Everybody, Quan Quan! Did Nafla actually say Quan Quan? Nafla usually doesn't speak and just, like, says random gibberish. Oh? Wait, the seed has wings? That's Dracula, isn't it? That, that's the... That's Dracula! Wait! That's not the sea, that's... What happened? What was that? Where's this... I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Is that the Legend Leap? <laughs> Is that the Legend Leap? No, it's... We're done! No, maybe, maybe that is the 100k point Legend Leap. I don't know, but... Dirkula definitely showed up at the end and said, It's you, isn't it? But no one else seems to have seen it. It's almost as if Dirkula is waiting for somebody to finally bloom the leaf. And finally, Iruma showed up. But then, okay, remember when Sully said that he sees Dirkula in Iruma during that one shopping episode in the like, end of season 2? There's gotta be some kind of connection between the two. Oh. Yo, we really stand out now, don't we? <laughs> We, I mean, compared to every other, like, NPC character, yeah, just a bit. Sabro. 45.5k! Clara and as, uh, Iruma. Of course. But I... The Legend Leaf is looking a little sus, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Also, Kerori says those two are they gonna be here, they forgot about lead. <laughs> <laughs> that legend leaf looks so... <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't give me the certainty that this is like the, the legendary leaf. You know, it just looks like some kind of budget toy. What is that thing? <laughs> maybe, maybe we're getting baited. Maybe it's really going to bloom, right? It's even looking at us. I think it's like sentient. But in front of everybody, maybe it'll like transform. Let's see. Is this the legendary leaf? <laughs> oh? It is? This doofy shape. This really is the legend leaf. 
I expected something a lot more epic. I don't know. I didn't expect it to look like some kind of toy you get from Toys R Us, man. 100k. But who gets the 100k? Or us? Both of them? Can there be two young kings? That's what I'm confused about. That's what I'm saying. Who gets the 100k? I think you have to give it to Iruma. Mm. Mm. I mean, without Clara, that was impossible. And without Nafla's water, maybe it would also have been impossible. They both were critical to this. But between Lid and Iruma... Uh, Iruma's the main character. He's got to get it. Both 50k. That's enough, though, to win. Because no one else... Because Sabro was like 45.5. I think that was the highest before. All right, Eko. Document all that for the newspaper. So, Tai? Iruma and Lid are both the young kings. You know, up until this season, I didn't really see Lid as like an important character. He was quite on the bench, if anything. Like, in this season, he suddenly got paired with Iruma. And now that they're going to split the points... It's hard for me to accept that Lead will also become a young king. No disrespect, but based on what we've seen from season like one and two, I just didn't have that expectation. But maybe they're like really pushing Lead to be like more development for him. Oh, our senseis. Who do you piece of shit? <gasps> Sully. Sully and Opera. No, what? <laughs> oh, Sully is actually so cute when he can be. There's no way someone got beyond 50k points, right? There's no way, right? Wait, Orobots did have the stockpile points. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. Why did they just give us a split scene of that? And remember, Ocho disappeared in the background. I don't have a good feeling suddenly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Bro! Oh! Oh! It's that motherfucker that it, he had all those points stockpiled in the ground at the end, remember? If we just didn't split the fucking point, just give it. This is, this is, you, know, you remember in the first of uh, the apparatus events, Iruma also was poised to win with the fireworks, but he didn't. But we still ended up getting, I think, just a second. I think Kaligo there was pained. Because Kaligo knows he, Iruma should have won. I think Kaligo... I think Kaligo there was in pain like... That fucking sucks. My boy should have won. What? Maybe Iruma will get some other way to win out of this. I, I don't know. Because remember the fireworks? He did get his own like special award at the end. Ugh. This is bullshit. Maybe I should be happy for all of us for getting first place. But are you happy with this? Mm. So he feels guilt. Maybe he'll relegate his position. Was it fair and square? Honestly, it's interesting because he keeps saying that using his powers is not fair, like his trauma powers. Because I, I don't steal your magic. Why not? But he feels empty from this. Because Ocho fucking clutched for you at the end. If he truly is like a noble, respectable person, he won't take this. He'll step down. Aww. Does he feel... We got the Legend Leaf that no one was able to do. Come on. That's a feeling that I think everybody can relate to. Like, you try your fucking hardest. And at the end, it wasn't enough. That's a Lincoln Park. No, that, I forgot what band it was. But I think Orobas is about to... Wait. Jazz? Last episode, Jazz and Alcor came in clutch. Is he actually going to come clutch again? Yeah? How? Uh-huh. What, what, what? Uh, technically true. Technically true. I thought they combined and it kind of disappears at the end, but... Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the math works out. That means we win. 10k. That's still enough. That's 60k. That's 2k still more than 58. Yes, you guys both win. But again, is it really okay to have a tie for first place? Young Kings? Mm. I guess so. And 
You know how like they always do six six six. Like it'd be even cooler if all the points were six 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 six. But six seems to be like devil's number. You know, it's nice that they win like that. Oh, we finally did it. But now what? I I it's like it's still hard for me to accept that lead is a young king. You know? I'm not trying to disrespect him. But it just feels so odd to me. Maybe this is the beginning of something huge for him. He was crying more than Sully would. Where's Sully in opera? Oh. A bow. Wow. It was a good match. God, his hair is so long. But if you think about it, lost all sight of reason by using his magic, is that really unfair? I, I don't know. He, he didn't do anything that was illegal of the rules. It's just that he has such a sense of, I don't know, honor that he feels it was wrong. <laughs> you know, Orobas, I think he's going to get some good friends now here too, now that he's getting more recognition. Yeah, that was funny. That, that, there's a cult of like, he only goes for second place. Oh. Here we go. What is this? What, what is this? Oh, oh. As the previous young king, I, I don't know, congratulate you. Say it. Amazing. All right, what? We're pretty much, you know, we're pretty much the ship is solidified. Yeah. Like a big bouquet of flowers for her. Does he have anything prepared though? <laughs> Does he have anything prepared though? <laughs> Nafla. Huh? How do you understand Nafla? They know each other. No. What? What? Student Council? Oh! Student Council? Are you speaking? Wait, is that Leaf speaking? Hello? Huh? What? Is, it's a sentient Leaf. What the? Is this? I mean, this is all new for everybody because this has never been bloomed. Hmm. These are all really important ideals and fundamentals to uphold. Is this something that Dracula tried to wish for? I mean, the least demonish demon of them all. The most, oh like, un- Dracula again! And remember in season 2 at the end? Dirk like, what Solomon, Solomon was saying? Like, this netherworld is based on what the previous demon lord- King made? Therefore, it's floating away. It's, it's a balloon. But Dracula is probably a really kind person. That's why the netherworld is such a peace. The least demonish of demons. What's going on right now? What? Where are you going? Maybe it's gonna explode like a... I forgot the word, but it, it else candies. It's gonna explode and candies are gonna fall down. Maybe. Okay. Blow up. Uh, boom! And then candy everywhere. Or just goodbye? Huh? Bit of a cliffhanger at the end, but I think that I forget what you, what that is. You know, a birthday party, you like hit like this horse thing, and it's not an actual horse. It's it's like a doll thing, and you keep smacking with the blindfold, and then candies come out. I think we're about to get some kind of big banquet feast after this, and it's gonna it's gonna be like a celebratory episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists to my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.